Hey everybody, Red Diamond Shoe Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another MSA video. Dad is the most wanted mafia boss in the world. Let's get into it, guys. Hi, I'm Clara and I'm a story hunter. I see a story in everything and I won't stop until I find it. But before we get into it, please like and subscribe to MSA. My parents thought they'd never have kids, but 10 years after their marriage, they had me. While mom was over the moon, dad always seemed annoyed when I tried getting his attention. Daddy, look, I found a ladybug in the park. Isn't she cute? I rescued her from a parade of ants. Mm -mm. Look at him neglecting his daughter. Would you please take this girl away? I'm on a phone call. Of wow. course, honey. Come on, Clara. Let's read some Nancy Drew. Yay, my favorite. Dad was weird, but at least I had mom. She was a journalist before she married dad and had the craziest stories to tell me. And growing up, I wanted to be just like her. When I turned 10, mom got me my first recording set and I went crazy interviewing people on the streets. Since how long have you been homeless? That's a cute dog. Did you steal it or buy it? People would pass me weird <laughs> stares, but I just didn't care. I was following my passion. One evening, I was in a far end of my neighborhood when I missed a turn. The street was empty and it was getting really dark. What? So she got lost? So I started to walk quickly when a shady black car pulled up next to me. Hey, kid, are you lost? It's freezing out there. Hop in. I'll drop you off. Uh-uh, no, you don't know him. I started running because I'm like, nah, you don't know him. What if he kidnapped you? Don't be scared. I won't harm you. See, before he could finish, I punched him hard Be and good. ran. Good. I thought it was successful, but seconds later, the car stopped again, and the guy got out, and I was shocked to see he was the frickin' mayor. He wasn't oh, hurt, but this mayor. was so embarrassing. I apologized, he and he dropped me off. back home, but someone on the street had made a video of me punching the mayor, and it went viral. I was the joke of the town, and wow. Dad was furious. You f but come on, like, come on, anybody just riding up to you and you don't know who they are? Like, you wouldn't do the same thing? Crossed all limits! You hit the mayor! It was a reflex, Dad! I was scared! And I've read so much about these kidnappers in a black car! All this investigation and these stupid stories are ruining you! What if he wants to take action and drag us to court? I'm a really private person, I don't want this! Jeez, relax, Dad, he won't! He knows it was just a mistake. Why are you getting so worked up? Right. That's it. You're grounded. And no more story hunting. But why? Mom, say something. But as always, Mom said nothing. And I was done for. Ooh, moms are always like that. They sit over here and let the dad control everything in the household, including them and what they have to do and what they can and can't say. Growing up, Dad and I drifted further apart. He stayed cooped up in his office while I got busy with school and perfecting my investigation skills. On my 15th birthday, I begged mom to get me a professional recording set with a mic, but she simply refused. We just don't have the money for it. Her dad. I decided to try my luck with dad and ask him for some money. I wouldn't tell him what it was for exactly, but he wasn't in his office. As I was leaving, suddenly my foot got caught in the carpet and I landed on some boxes full of money. Oh my god, Clara, what are you doing in here? Mom, you said we don't have any money. What? what? And she found a box full of money. What is all this? It belongs to your dad, and it's not your concern. But it's a lot of money, Mom. It has to come from somewhere. Is dad a mafia guy? Oh my god, he robbed a bank, didn't he? <laughs> Stop it. Please, Clara, you don't understand. You need to leave, now. And don't say a word about this to anyone, least of all your dad. Promise me. Something was definitely fishy, but I'd yeah. never seen mom so serious. So I did what she said. I wanted to know more, but I just didn't get the chance to go into dad's study again. Soon, I lot. got busy with school and forgot all about it. One time in 11th grade, Lena, the head cheerleader and the most popular girl, walked up to me. I heard you can uncover any truth in the world. Is that true? That depends on what kind of truth you want. Well, don't tell anyone, but I think Nick's cheating on me. Who's Nick? Do you live under a rock? Nick's my boyfriend. He's the captain of the football team. Got it. So what? she probably don't be paying attention to y'all like that. About him? I just told you. He's cheating on me and I want you to find out the truth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Leave this to me. Be careful. He's a very good liar. No liar can ever hide the truth from the world's greatest investigator. All right. Go and chill, kid. I got this. 
I started following Nick around everywhere, but I couldn't find any dirt on him until one day I saw him sneak into the coach's office and saw him making out with another girl. I waited till he left wow. without noticing me, and then, right in the middle of the cafeteria, I made him pay. I dropped an entire carton of milk all over his head. What the heck? What do you want, weirdo? Listen up, everyone. This jerk right here cheated on his girlfriend. No, I didn't. I knew you'd say that. Here's the proof. Nick looked at me in shock as I showed him the video of his makeout session. Lena broke up with him instantly, and he was getting a lot of backlash for cheating uh... on the most popular girl around. Soon after, he left and got transferred to North High, our rival school. After that, Lena and I started hanging out and became besties. As much as I liked having her around, her band of cheerleaders annoyed me. Especially this girl, Wendy. Lena even Dang, had- her cheerleader friends always had to be where she was. A YouTube channel with her where they ran gossip sessions and fashion advice. You know, I was thinking, why don't we add Clara to the channel? Why? So we lose all our followers and our popularity? Wow. I don't think having five no, followers- No, if anything, y'all probably gonna gain a lot more. Followers makes you popular. But then again, what do I know? Stop it, you two. Clara is a professional. You saw what she did with Nick, and with her brains and cool stories, and my beauty tips and styling, we'll be so much more popular. We'll be like Daphne and Velma. Who? Scooby-Doo? Forget it. We should totally do it. I joined the YouTube channel soon after, and we started with collecting scoops on everyone in school. Within a few months, we hit a million, million subscribers. Subscribe. I was happy, but Lena was on cloud nine. Her popularity was through the roof, wow. and she loved the attention. We got invited to every party in town, and she would drag Dang. me with her even <laughs> when I didn't feel like going. One day, I was at her house getting ready for a party when Wendy made a snarky comment. Do you always have to dress up like a homeless person? And why is your hair such a mess? There's nothing wrong with my hair what, or- just because she doesn't drip, dress provocative like you? <laughs> or clothes. I don't want to look all dolled up. Detectives are meant to look rugged. Right. right Lena? Uh, That's why she just yeah, but it won't hurt you to put on a little makeup now and then. It'll only make you look prettier. No, it'll make me look like a bimbo. So you think I'm a bimbo? I didn't mean it like that, but Lena was oh, already walking that. in the other direction. <sighs> Good job, Sherlock. I wanted to apologize to Lena, but she kept ignoring me at the party and at school the next day. I got that she was mad at me, but it wasn't like she supported me in front of Wendy either. I decided to give her some time and continue doing my bit for the channel. The next day after lunch, I was passing by when I saw Wendy terrorizing the school topper and making him do her assignments. What? But as I took my camera out, Lena walked up to me yeah, and- Yeah, you should out her, but Lena probably gonna save her. Knocked it out of my hand. What are Lena you doing? Penny. She's our friend. Nope, she's your friend. She doesn't even like me. Why can't you guys just try to get along for me? I know you think we're bimbos, but that's the least you can do as my best friend. Oh, you're so dramatic. Okay, fine. I'll let this go. Just this once. And I don't think you're a bimbo. I'm sorry. Stop talking and meet me for boba tea later. Uh -huh. Deal? Deal. And just like that, we were back to being besties. And I tried to tolerate Wendy better, even though she still got on my nerves. Soon wow, after, she the entire a... school was buzzing over the senior day prank wars with North High, and Lena was determined to crush the rival school, mainly because Nick was their new student body president. We need to ace this. They should never see us coming. How about we break into the school? You can't be serious, Wendy. You guys will get caught. Not with these masks, we won't. And why are you so negative? I'm being practical. It's the dumbest plan on earth. Back me up, Lena. Actually, I like it. No one will ever know. Now, are you in or out? Out. You know my dad. He would ground me for life if I got caught. You know what, Clara? I've been there for all your dumb investigations. I even got you in on the channel. And now, if you can't support me, then you're not a good friend. Hey, that's not fair. It's my channel, too. I made it popular. Really? Right. Wow. Tell me why she's- She brought more interesting stuff to the channel. I just feel like with her, it boosted even more. Here again. Oh my God, I can't deal with you guys right now. I'm going. Lena turned to leave. I didn't want her to be mad again, so I reluctantly tagged along. But just as we reached there, all the cheerleaders took out spray cans and started trashing lockers and vandalizing- Man, why are they doing this though? the walls 
I tried to stop them when Lena banged into me and I went flying into a statue, crashing it to pieces. Those statues are like thousands of dollars. Not I really told you this was a dumb trouble. idea. Oh my God, what are we supposed to do? We don't have time. Run. As I made my way home, my heart couldn't stop racing. I'd just made the most terrible mistake of my life. You freaking and I prayed out. no one would find out about it. But the next day at school, I felt numb when the principal called me into his office oh my with both dad and Nick waiting for me there, along with a few other people from North High. Clara, what? where were you last night? I, I was... They better call the other girls to the office too, not just her. Vandalizing property, right? Are you really that dumb not to know that every school has security cameras? The school authorities checked last night's footage and guess what they found? Nick flashed the phone in my face with footage of me crashing into the statue and breaking it. Everyone else had a mask on, but me. How could I be so stupid? But Right, but she could tell you who those other people are. How y'all gonna just get her when she don't even, she not even dressed like them. All them other girls were dressed the same. Why would y'all just go for her? It was a mistake. Was it? And who are these other girls with you? Do you have a name? I wanted to punch Nick in the face. He knew I wouldn't rat Lena out, even though I was mad at her for putting me into this mess. Now, either you pay for the damages, or you get expelled for a month, or you give me the names of all the other girls involved, and I'll think about reducing your punishment. Ooh, what's she gonna do? I can't. I'm sorry, Dad. Expel her. There's no way I'm paying that money. Mm. With that, Dad simply got up he and left, leaving her. me in tears. How could he do this to me? I knew it was my fault, but he was my father. Wasn't he supposed to look after me or something? That evening at home, I had the worst argument with dad while mom just stood in a corner like a stone. Were you at that school for some dumb story? You're such a nuisance. I can't believe you're my kid. I can't believe you're my dad either. What father gets his own child expelled over a few bucks? You never supported me and you always acted like my existence bothers you. And it's not like you're so perfect yourself. What do you even do, dad? How do you really make money? How dare you talk to me like that in my own house? <laughs> I don't have threatened. to take this. Mom, are you just going to stand there and say nothing? The suspension will go down on my record. How can you be such a coward? What is she going to say? Listen to me, kid. You better stop throwing hey, Your mom only speaks when he say speak. Tantrums and do as I say, or you'll be out of here. I wanted to scream in Dad's face, and I felt angrier at Mom for being quiet. That night... I felt the most alone I'd ever been. The worst part about this was I couldn't talk to Lena either, even though she tried calling me a thousand times. That night, I slept with the worst headache of my life. And the next morning, I woke up to loud noises and Lena shaking me like a mad person. Yay. Wake up, dummy. Wake up. Fine. I'm up. What is that noise? Get dressed and come out. Your mom needs you. It's your dad. He's been arrested. Arrested? What? For what? Just come down. I rushed downstairs and I was shocked to see your mom don't need you when you needed her. She kept her mouth shut. Our entire yard was surrounded by police cars and reporters shoving cameras in my face, asking a million questions all at once. How does it feel to be the daughter of a lying thief? Did you know about your father's crimes this entire time? What? Oh my God, what was happening? Just then I spotted mom talking to one of the reporters. Mom, what's happening? And why is Lena saying that dad's been arrested? What mom told me next shook my entire world. What, what, Your what? father is a criminal, Clara. He was laundering money from his company to fake accounts abroad. I just knew it. That's what all the money was for, right? Yes, I didn't say anything because I wanted to protect your dad. But what's the point of saving his sorry butt when he couldn't even stand up and protect his daughter? So I told the police everything. I even gave them evidence. I wow oh so her mom went and called the police on him huh? <laughs> don't want to live like a coward mom i'm so proud of you and i'm sorry for calling you that it's okay i know it was a lot for you now let's start afresh talking about a fresh start can we be friends again i miss you and i'm sorry for dragging you into this mess looks like you did me a favor there if not for you i wouldn't have been expelled and mom would have never taken the step forward so, thank you. So, that means we're cool? Well, will you treat me to boba tea later? And keep that Wendy away from me? <laughs> you got it. Aww. 
Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.